And we're live. Welcome, welcome, JTOG42. Hey! Now I can do this because I didn't I didn't let JT <laughs> put the camera. <laughs> I'm all crooked. Hi everyone! Hi hi. How are you all? Say say well in the comments right now. Ten second delay. We need the, At least. The, yeah, yeah. the old school reference bell. We haven't printed it yet. We will. Yes. Well, uh, before before we start with today's theme, and I haven't told you this yet. Oh, good. But uh, everybody, every, most of you know that I'm uh, building a large format 3D printer because what has been seen on Instagram, Twitter, and on Patreon. Uh, but the thing is, I, I was searching for uh, insulation for the heated bed because it's like such a large format that I didn't want to lose heat from below. And I started searching for uh, um, fireproof materials that will not catch flame. And I bought three different types. And uh, three of them got uh, like cut, cut flame while trying to see if they were fireproof. So you started three fires? Little yeah, ones. in the shop, yeah. Nice. Anyway, with scientific method, I did uh, get small pieces of them and get fried with the, with a small lighter. And the three of them got fire. Okay, so, so you proved the point. Yeah. Yeah, you should never believe what the description on an Amazon product says. <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. Yes. Like, hmm, okay. Well, I'm glad that I did try it. I will go with one of the three, just knowing that it will catch fire if something happens. Because I'm kind of in a bit of a hurry, but <laughs> that's, that's shitty, shitty outcome, yeah. Wow, okay. Well. Yeah, but we, we are going, go, we're going to go with uh, today's theme. We are going to tell you all a story. Uh, the thing is that uh, a guy, let's say me, has been stranded in a in an island. I'm a castaway, and we have found ourselves on the shore. And we have uh, a few items. We have a, a diesel generator with an infinite amount of diesel. Why not? Uh, oh, good. Uh, yeah. How how convenient. Very convenient. We have yes. a we have a, 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 a computer. With cork is flammable. Uh, all, almost anything that is organic is flammable. I think everything. That's more or less what organic means. Uh, because someone said cork. Uh, we also have a computer with uh, 3D modeling uh, software. Hopefully Fusion 360, because I'm good at that. <laughs> uh, it, it, will be, it will be a bummer if it was like, like Katia 5 or something like that. Okay. With a license that needs to connect to the server, so I wouldn't be able to use it. Uh, and uh, an, uh, an insane amount of PLA. How, how convenient. Lots and lots of PLA. Uh, red. Uh, and uh, we have a, a 3D printer. Maybe, maybe a shitty one that doesn't have a heated bed. Or, or maybe one that like, it has a heated bed but is broken or missing. So we don't have a heated bed. And we need to make one. And this comes from, from me trying to make this 3D printer that I told you about. Uh, before it's, it's, it has such a huge bed that I couldn't find uh, near me like Amazon Prime or anything similar up a, a silicon heater that was the size that I needed that could be here in less than a month, which is what I ended up buying. So I started to search for alternatives that were like near me that but weren't heated beds. Things 
that you can search for as a heated bed and be used as a heated bed. So what we are gonna try to find here is that we might find a container from a company that sells some kind of stuff that we could use as a heated bed. Did I explain it? Yeah, yeah. Enough, JT? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm so, sort are, of reading losing, the comments. We are losing JT by the minute because no. it's insanely. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm reading the comments. Uh, okay, okay. While, while good, we, good. Because I cannot, I, I can barely speak English. So speaking and reading the comments would be <laughs> a challenge. So the, the the first the first container that we might find like this the, this those are um, separate uh, realities. Like, what would happen if we find if we found a uh, matter hackers container? That would be easy. We could find their uh, PCB heated beds like AC or, or or BC heated beds, and we could use one of those. And that's kind of uh, or maybe a silicon heater if it is a large format uh, 3D printer that, I, that like the one that I'm making. But that would be the, the the easiest one. Like put it on there and you could go and straight print. But w what would happen if you found something slightly different? For example, like uh, maybe maybe uh, Farnell or, or Element 14, a company like that sells only electronics. For example, you could start searching through the stuff on the container and find some power resistors, which are the, the things that were used at the beginning of heated beds to make heated beds. Before the first PCB heated beds, people would screw uh, power resistors uh, to aluminum uh, plates and even use straight AC uh, to, to, to uh, heat up the, the beds, which was kind of... Uh, Kind of dangerous. A little dangerous, yes. Um, we we have an audio sync problem with you. You're you're um, delayed. So I'm, what I'm going to do just very quickly is I'm going to. I I can do this. Hello. Hello. Uh, I don't know what? if that worked. <laughs> I think that's the opposite effect. <laughs> you <laughs> you you have to make the mouth noise before the sound. Make yeah, the mouth movement yeah. before the sound. Hello, hello, like that? Yeah, that was a, not too bad. <laughs> um, I'm let 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 me let me just uh, try something. I'm just going to switch to the intro quickly, and then yes. we'll see. I'll see if I can uh, do something. So we're going to go offline yeah. for just a sec. Ooh. All right, we're still ma making noise, so don't don't say anything silly. All right, so what we're going to do, Ivan? Silly. Yeah, silly squirrel, silly. Uh, yeah. We do here, we do here, we do here. Um, let us. Uh, capture guest. We'll do that. We'll try something else. Set. I can I can still talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P people can Mad, hear. Mad monkey, Mad monkey. Uh, I I will I will ask the the the, the people listening now. Mad monkey said uh, that he will take a toaster element and slap it to the bed to the bed uh, to make food and filament. Okay, what's the the common part between a toaster, a space heater, and a hair dryer? Does Does anyone in the in the comments know? What's the common element on those three things? Pow, 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 pow. Yeah, a resistor is basically anything, but what is what, what's the material that the resistor on all those three things is? What's the, what's the resistor on those three things made of? Filament. Well, it the is a, technically yeah, it yeah, is a filament. Yeah, yeah, and 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 technically, technically, the three things have a plug. Ceramic metals, uh, yes, are those are made of two metals, but it's not stainless steel. Uh, it's not puppy dog tails. No, hope I hope not. I don't know where you live, but yeah. 
it's a, those three things are made of nichromium or nichrome. Uh, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, and uh, the nice thing uh, is those those are found everywhere. I uh, the first uh, 3D printer that I have, I've said this like a hundred times, uh, Rapman 3.1 uh, from Bits from Bytes, came with the hot end in parts, and you had to use fire cement and uh, uh, and nichrome to build uh, your own hot end. What I ended up, and I ended up using the same technique, uh, disassembling a space heater to make my first heated bed. Okay. So yes. I, I, I have now rid us of the lag, I believe. So say hello or something. Hello. Yeah, that's good enough. Yep. Click, okay. Clicker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, we were like the uh, we, in the situation where we found uh, an electronics company container. So, what so we, we're we, cast away on a beach. We, 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 yeah. We've uh, our shipwreck, and we have. Um, this is for the new people. We're shipwrecked. We've got a diesel generator with unlimited diesel. We have a 3D printer of Limit. sorts, unlimited filament, but we have no heated bed. How are we going to heat this bed? Yes. And you're and you're now saying we've found some other uh, uh, boxes, shipping containers. Yeah. From and various like-minded suppliers yes yes so the next the next kind of container that we could have found is hair products things for your hair uh you could you could use those i, I don't know how you call this that are hair straighteners hair straightener. kind of yeah yeah yeah, yeah this, you do this in yes, when yes. you have hair mm. yeah you could use several of those and stick them to the to the plate and use them to heat up the the bed or if you could use a hair dryer pointing straight up. Yep. Okay. And here is where we go, go to, get to the point where I told you before. Uh, if we are going to rank this, these solutions, uh, how difficult could it be to uh, adjust the temperature of a bed that has a hair dryer blowing air from the bottom to the top? I'm assuming that is. Uh, uh, bed architecture that doesn't mm, require the bed to move. Um, that is the the hair dryer method is terrible compared to your ceramic plates from the hair hair straightener. Yes, but I think it still could be done with a uh, nicely adjusted PID on the uh, temperature controller. I think it could be done. So could if be, could... if you had a hair dryer, no. If you had a heat gun, yes. Hair dryer doesn't generate enough heat. Uh, I will challenge you to uh, go and get a hair dryer. No, no, no. Put your, no, no, no. Put your hand. <laughs> oh, for I, PLA, see what I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. For PLA, you only need 50 degrees. Yep. And below 50 degrees, the human skin in your hand <laughs> can withhold without pain the heat. Okay. So, so. If you can withhold, if you can put your hand in front of the hair dryer, and it burns you, if it burns you, it gets to 50 degrees. Okay, all right. It's a matter of, of distance, and then you can adjust the airflow, because if you reduce the airflow, the power of the resistor is the same. You are heating less volume of air per unit of time. So it's getting hotter. so you get hotter. Hotter, yep. yes. And you end up having a hair dryer hot gun, heat gun. Yes, yes, I see. But you have to, you have to think as, like a castaway. Uh, I'd be thinking you, about food and shelter, but you know we can think I about food. You have food. You have, food. You have, food. You have, a, you have a, a, a container of unlimited cookies. Oh, good. You only, you only, you only with vitamin C. Lots of vitamin C on the cookie. Okay. <laughs> cool. So you don't die of, of how, how, is, uh, how do you say the, the disease Sco where you die from? Scurvy. Scurvy, scurvy, mm. yeah, yeah, scurvy, mm. yeah. So uh, <laughs> you can disassemble the the, the hair dryer, limit the air intake, and get a decent amount of really hot air from the other end. And you can use you could use the uh, the PID controller to control the amount of air, the amount of heat in the in the resistor. You could do you could do several things, different things, to have a nice uh, stable warm bed. 
hotbed, hotbed. Okay, that's that's one of the containers that we could find. What if and here we come to the Mad Monkey, Mad Monkey um, suggestion is what if it is a home appliances company that is importing lots and lots of home appliances, different home appliances? Because there, there I think that's the the the, the golden um, uh, treasure cave finding. That makes no sense. Don't worry. Uh, so you you could have. How do you call this thing where you remove the 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 thingies from the clothes? You pass it on top of the clothes. Iron, 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 iron. 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 Yeah, I I say iron for what? you for your for so iron. You sorry, but yes, iron. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. That was easy. Uh, you could just straight one of those or a couple of those in the bed from below, and there you even have the temperature control system integrated in the device because those have uh, thermostats. Yeah, different different fabric right. settings. Yes. So no, but, you, 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 but in, in the one, in the only one that I've ever used, I think, it has temperature control, uh, not fabric yet. You can adjust by rotating oh, oh, it. Oh, actual temperature. temperature. Yeah. Yeah, on the one. It, doesn't say, it doesn't say the temperature. No. But it is the temperature. I understand. So you could have cotton, silk, uh, whatever. And, and this is what yeah. I mean by the fabric type. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which in turn is setting the temperature. Of course. Yeah. So, you don't need to so water in them. <coughs> excuse me. Let me recap. We're castaways. With yes. With power. Yes, we have we have <laughs> a very nice electric <laughs> generator. With That's right. Keep going. Several years worth of this. <laughs> oh, yes, good. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Several years. Oh, several years. good, yeah. good. And and yes. uh, shipping of PLA doesn't cost very much because the the cargo ship that we were on was clearly carrying PLA. Yeah, only PLA. Only PLA. Tons and tons of PLA. Okay, yeah. It good. was headed it was it, it was like my monthly supply of PLA for the workshop was on that boat. So we have PLA to spare. Okay? Yep. Okay. And then then uh, one of the things that I noticed when I was trying to do this this printer is that uh, the home appliance spare market is is uh, an uh, insane resource for heating elements. Yeah. Because, because you have you have like your your uh, washing machine has a heating element. Mm -hmm. The oven, uh, space heaters. Yeah. Yeah, the kettle. They're like there are so many different things, and different models have differently shaped and differently powered heating elements. That that you could most probably find. A heating element that is exactly the size of your bed, and just by running current current through it with a thermostat, you already will have a heated bed. It's insane. Now, Mad, Mad Monkey has made a point. If it's just PLA, yeah. do we really need a heated bed? Oh yes. Okay, good. There there wasn't any built tack in it. Only glass. Uh, he, he said no PVA. No, no PVA. No, no, PVA no, no. You you make coconut glue. He says. So <laughs> is, who said who said it's a tropical island? <laughs> well, it's perfect otherwise. <laughs> because it is it is not coconut season. Oh, oh, good. Okay, no problem. So we'll use fish. It's for glue. Yeah. It's a, yeah. No. No. Fi, uh, seahorses. Seahorses. Unicorns. Sea Unicorns. Yeah. Don't you call those tiny things with the tail? Is aren't those seahorses? Yeah, seahorses, yeah, yeah. Because horses, is is oh, not the uh, saying uh, that uh, can glue, make glue, glue for glue, glue factory. Yeah, yeah, for the horses yeah, that, don't, that do, they don't do so. Okay, sea glue. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, um, uh, Jordan, uh, Gilligan Island, exactly. And Ivan, okay, yeah. Ivan is the professor or Gilligan? I'm not quite sure which one yet. The one that is the maddest of the two. Yeah, Gilligan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, there there are these these things uh, called oil re uh, oil radiators that yes, have the, oil the, the uh, col column heaters. Um, yeah, the, ver the vertical yes. columns. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. And those are filled with oil, and you could almost print of on some of those because they're really flat. 
Okay. I've been, I've been taking some of those and even thinking about like slapping an entire radiator on the bottom of the printer. Wow, you've really <laughs> o overthought this, haven't you? The, but the thing is, if you need to heat up an 800 by 500 bed, yes. there are not many options commercially available. Well, funnily enough, when just before I went and actually bought a Creality S5, which is 500-500, I was looking at and, ways... And rubbish. Sure, but it was relatively inexpensive for my skill oh, sets. Yeah. Okay, um, and and yes, uh, I was talking to Spike about it, who is going to make some tea, but he's taken the phone with him, so that's good. Um, uh, we were talking about silicon pads and so forth, and some yes. some uh, there's a company he uses in particular. They'll actually make a custom size. Yeah. Did, did you? We'll get back to. Fantasy Island in a moment. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the plane, the plane. Do you know? Do you know that reference? The plane, the plane. Okay, so there was a TV show called Fantasy Island, and there was a little yep. uh, a, a, a man of short stature, uh, a midget, and his name was Tattoo, I believe. Um, and he he used to say the plane, the plane. Anyway, uh, I digress. Um, so, had you considered getting a custom one made? But the thing is that I the, this printer should have been printing last Friday. Ah, okay. And I guess that it will be printing like on Wednesday, hopefully. And if I order a custom-built uh, silicone mat, I guess that it will take more than a week to have it in my workshop. Oh, it's just, sure. It's just a guess. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I, so, I, I the just, th the thing, I, I, I never assume that you haven't thought of something. I always assume you've thought of everything and discounted yeah. all the things that you didn't. No, there are there are mats that are the size of my bed and AliExpress has several of them. Okay. The thing is that takes like a month to arrive. I understand. Which is probably more or less the same than a regular silicone mat custom made to my size. Yep, okay, that's fine. So, I just wanted to clarify that, you know, the, the, yeah. these things exist. Uh, oh yeah, but but uh, we we we're on the on the path of uh, DIY. Yeah, when when but the the thing is, uh, when I was thinking of on getting an an entire radiator stuck below the below the mirror under the mirror. Yeah, yeah. Like it may seem like a crazy idea, but the thing is that it's a heating element, and it would have worked as as. Well, as a silicon mat, I think. I, I I tend to agree, actually. Like yeah. la last week, I wasn't yeah. fully on board with everything, but I I, I understand. <laughs> with how, anything. <laughs> I understand how um, heat transfer through contact will um, provide a, a, con a fairly consistent result if if you. Uh, yeah. The way you know you're you're talking about. Yeah, one of one of the funny things searching for stuff on Amazon, again, uh, is when you're searching for a radiator, one of those radiators, mm -hmm. which uh, are uh, entirely electrical, so their COP is one. You get as much heat as power you get on it. It's not like an AC or anything like that. Yep. Uh, lots of them were saying low power, or eco-friendly, or low consumption. And you could say you could clearly see that they, they have a switch that is thousand watts, two thousand watts. Ah. That's it. Because they usually they have. Do you, do you know uh, why is that usually the case? Like eight hundred watts or sixteen hundred watts, it's always half the power. No, why are they only using because the alternate? They are using uh, the simplest method of cutting the power in half, which is a diode. Right. That only use half of the signal of the yeah, that's AC what I'm power. Saying. Yeah, yeah, they only use half. Yeah, yeah. A, re, a, re, a half rectifier okay. circuit. All right. So there is there is no way that any of those products can claim can, can make any claims about their energy efficiency. Okay. Because even if they lose some power through the cable or any other kind of means, it's gonna end up being uh, give away as heat, which is the mine the main purpose of the thing. Yes. So even if those are inefficient, their efficiency is going to be almost 100%. Uh, 
hundred percent shitty because using electricity to make heat is kind of shitty. Yeah, yeah. But that's the aim of this yeah. particular game. So, yes. So in yes. the comments, we we have additional suggestions. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, Wellbot said, um, put just put the he uh, bed on the hot sand. Now we didn't say it was a tropical island, but the hot sand is a nice yep. idea. But the problem is the sand would the heat would dissipate fairly quickly because the sun is no longer beaming down onto and, the sand. And we are gonna get later. We are gonna we are going to arrive later on to the tropical island advantages on heating a bed. Okay. But we are not we are not there yet. Um, yeah. uh, Sam is saying the halogen lamps. Um, uh, yes. Could, could, yes. That, that's, from the that's aeroplane absolutely. could be used. Yeah. Um, and hal halogen lamps are so inefficient that they give. I, I don't know exactly the figure, but they, it's a in an extremely large percentage of, of percentage of the energy that you put into them into heat. Heat. Yes. And if you if you cover them against the bed. Yep. It will be a hundred percent because even light, after bouncing a few times, it's going to end up being released as heat. Also. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So halogen halogen lamps and the resistors are exactly the the same. So yes, yes. Um, uh, yes. Fernando is saying uh, using uh, a, a gas like a but butane. Yeah, butane. Yes, a gas stove. One of the things that we have in the list is using a gas stove. Oh yes, uh, we do. Under the steel plate. Yes. yes. Well, this there is one thing that people usually don't realize because we are we are uh, pretty much used to having induction heaters at home. Yep. And induction induction heaters are quite efficient at heating the the pot that we are using, but usually, for example, here in, here in Spain we have like 3.3 kilowatts uh, usually mains uh, at at home. The the power limit of uh, home uh, electricity is 3.3 kilowatts 4.4 kilowatts but one of those small camping stoves that are that run on gas are 12 kilowatts of heat so you could easily end up melting the bed if you put the gas stove too near the bed ah okay so you you in this case of the gas stove taking Assuming that you found one with enough, enough gas, is that you should use the really the lowest power setting possible and try to remove as much heat as possible when using it because the temperature regulation in this one would be really tricky. Yes, we yeah. we will go above what we need pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Imagine well, 12, 12 kilowatts. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, Wellbot corrected me. He said uh, if we we're on a desert island. With his sand <laughs> comment, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Okay, um, okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, ga gas is uh, incredibly hot. Yeah, Bur yeah it burns incredibly is, hot. Yeah, yeah. The, the energy on uh, fossil fuels and natural gas and the, it's 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 insanely dense. So yes, yes. Uh, one that uh, uh, come to came to my mind that. Uh, crosses the path of dangerous slash stupid. <laughs> it, Imagine that. Was, yeah, <laughs> come on. Uh, is putting a microwave oven below the bed with the door open and tricked to work with the door open facing up and using that to uh, heat up a steel element putting below the bed. Okay, so microwave excites the molecules of the bed the aluminium plate, whatever it might be. I'm not sure if it would work on aluminium. May probably yes, because if you put foil, aluminium foil inside the microwave oven, you get fireworks. Yes. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure about the science of this, but uh, if you are set in the situation where that's the only source of heat that you have, that's what I would try. Okay. Like so if you put the the microwave, I I have, I'm assuming that if you open the door and Please don't quote me on that and don't do any experiments do, related to Do this not do this at home. Based, based on what we say. No, please don't. Uh, but uh, if you aim the microwave oven upwards and you put some metal or something that can absorb the heat, maybe some water in a tray or something, 
you could end up having a hot bed. But okay. that's, uh, that, that's sketchier than the rest of it. Un unrelated to microwaves, let me be very clear. Uh, Fernando has said, uh, put a, a box full of full of cats under the bed <laughs> because they will make it nice and warm and cuddly. You will not reach no, of course. the required temperature to print. Uh... No. Oh, don't don't yeah. burst his bubble. I'm with him on this. You are with him. I'm with him on this. No, because the 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 the, the all the PLA is low temperature PLA that okay. sticks to a bed that is all yeah. thirty degrees. Fair enough. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that's that's the last one that we could uh, do from the home appliances company. And and uh, uh, what a coincidence! The next container that we could find is a container from a company that sells pet stuff. Oh. Stuff for pets, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> it's a coincidence. It was like that. I don't know. Yeah, if yeah. Uh, and one of the things that we could use is one of those aqu aquarium heaters. Yes. And the pipes and tubing that is used with those and the pan everything, and just uh, use it as a, uh, a he uh, uh, use the, the water heater to heat the water. Use the piping to make a make a coil under the bed. And the pump to recirculate the water, and there you have it. Uh, heated bed. So, thing. Are, are these industrial fish tank heaters? Because typically they don't go more than 25 or 30 degrees. Oh, so, uh, sorry, before yes. I say that, what is our target temperature of this heat degrees. bed? It is still 50 PLA, degrees. Okay. PLA temperature. Uh, okay. Yes. I'd say I'd say 50 degrees. Uh, as as when we were uh, talking about the hair dryer, maybe the water heater is limited by uh, is limiting the temperature by an internal set temperature limit limiter. But uh, if you have a resistor and you give the you give it enough time and there are uh, low enough uh, losses in the circuit, you would reach 50 degrees okay. if you remove the protection. Okay, cool. Because we are we are talking all the time uh, about using all those things in the wrong way. Yes, of course. Because you could even try to use the dual effect and use just the pumps to move the water and by moving it, heating it up. But I think the loss in the circuit will be too high. If you are using an industrial pump, a one kilowatt pump or something like that, you will uh, have hot water pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Yes. Yes. Thank, thanks, Kuzna. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when I, a, a few years ago, I did um, uh, water harp, a harp uh, that had water streams, and you could play with your hands there and make sounds cutting the water streams. So every time and, you broke the circuit, it played the note. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I had uh, two uh, two pumps. One of those to drain like the basement when it's flooded. Flood pumps. Yeah. Those are called called flood um, pumps. Yeah. Uh, sump. Maybe sump pump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I had two of those, and it, it, when the circuit was running like for half an hour, you could already feel the water getting warm. Okay. So moving water with a pump is an alternative to heating water and with hot water and piping you could make a heated bed okay so that's another alternative and uh, other thing that i've been in this this is one of the ones that i've been searching for on amazon is cat mats to keep the cats warm yeah, yeah. are you familiar I, yeah I, I i saw someone um uh was talking about a fake product the other day and everyone said you know the gift shut up and take my money you know that gift it <laughs> was it was a keyboard that was heated so that your cat doesn't sit on your keyboard it sits on its own heated keyboard which is like <laughs> this cat mat <laughs> easy, easy to clean I guess uh, I, I think it was fabric too so I, I, I think okay. uh, I think it was um uh, that, able to that's be a watched. good idea. Yeah, yeah, a, cro a crocheted, uh, <laughs> a crochet keyboard, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so cat mats or pet mats, those again have uh, thermal runaway protections that will not allow them to go above certain temperature, but those can be removed. Of Don't course. remove those. No, no <laughs> those. of course. And that, that's unless you want a fried cat, well, the, the cat will jump. They are smart animals. So, so yes, yes. Uh, um, I'm sorry. This, this, I'm gonna. Sam, Sam is really get, getting on board with this. Uh, oh yes. Plum, yes. Plum, plum up the radiator from the the radiator from the plane. Buried in the sand to improve <laughs> conductivity. Regulate the temperature uh, via distance of the connected boiler from the fire. Wow, he he's he's got this under control. Oh yes, oh yes. I, I if I'm stranded, I went to be stranded with him. Yes, very good ideas. <laughs> um, and, and Ewan is confirming that fish tank heaters outside of water are crazy powerful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they should be like the thing is that the thermostat is linked to the water. So if they are not in the water. I don't think they can limit themselves as such, but I'm pretty sure that they can uh, reach a stable temperature in air and limit the temperature in water, so they don't burn out if you switch and, them on upside there. And, the, and then, they, and then they melt. Yes. <laughs> they they eat themselves. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Cabinets. Okay. okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Next. Next container. Uh, a PC component uh, company that sells parts for PCs. Yes. And you could uh, use a water heating, uh, water cooling system, one of those that has a radiator that runs the hot water away from the from the processor. Yes. And you could use straight the the, the heat, for example, from a Pentium 2. I remember those getting fried all the time. Are there any other processors that were famous for getting really hot that's um, one other than xbox no <laughs> oh. you see you see there's another container that you could find like stick an xbox below the the bed yeah red red, just red ring of death and play play while the the thing prints yes sam, yes sam sam's literally asking why why not make a water or oil heated bed for real everyday printers You've got him thinking now. Yeah, the thing the, if, the, the, the thing is that there is there are already now uh, cooling systems that are water based for hot ends. I'm still trying to figure out what's the benefit of those hmm. because it adds mass to the hot end the carriage. and using that hot water to cool down the bed is not good enough because then you would be returning 50 degrees uh, as as low as 50 degrees uh, water to the hot end, which again is not ideal. I'm guessing that the return water temperature uh, is much near ambient temperature. So I don't think that you could reuse the heat from the that you're removing from the hot end to heat up the bed, unless you have a second stage of cooling down the water after the bed. I don't know if I'm explaining. So. It's all right. Sam, uh, Sam says he, uh, he has one on one printer. Um, he'll send some pics to me. Oh, OK. OK. Pics or didn't happen? OK. Something like okay. that, yeah. Yes. But, uh, yes. but also, <laughs> uh, on, on, a, on a what I'll call a real printer, uh, temperature control is more difficult with water or oil surely you don't have the the granular or or you don't have the response i guess um yeah but the thing is uh do you know what sous vide is sous vide yeah 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 usually the easy with thermal management is having a, a suitable pid yes and usually if you have if you want to have a really nice pid without training the best thing that you can do is having something that doesn't heat up really quick because then you will overshoot and if your PID is not tuned enough, yep. you will have to recalibrate. But Subit, uh, for example, Subit devices have uh, very good industrially calibrated PIDs mm -hmm. and you could submerge one of those in any 
yep. bucket of water of any size yep. and those will reach temperature uh, pretty quickly and those are really stable. Yes, they'll maintain within a tenth of a degree for, for yeah. ages. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So the thing is that if you have a good PID, if you, if you are going to go and, you, and eyeball the temperature, then don't go with water because the thermal inertia is insane. Mm-hmm. So once you go above two degrees, getting that back again is, is going to take ages. Yep. But if, if you have a well-tuned PID, then yes. Yes. As soon, <laughs> as, as soon as you said sous vide, I knew exactly where you were heading with that. Okay, okay. So, uh, yes. Large. <laughs> okay, next, uh, next, next container. And this one is one that I've already used. Is if, what if, if, uh, if it is a company that sells steel and steel parts and things? Uh, for example, there is steel wire. And I've used in the past uh, steel wire to make a zigzag below my uh, aluminum bed to make a heated bed for my first printer. And what I had is, is, it was a, a one millimeter thick, one, a one centimeter thick, 10 millimeter thick uh, steel pla- uh, aluminum plate, then lots, a couple of layers of capton below it, then the zigzag of uh, steel, and then lots of cork. And that was straight connected to my lab power supply. Okay, so you would uh, electrify the zigzag? Yes. At, at what, AC, like uh, full? No, I, I was going with a lab power supply, 30 volts. Oh, okay. I, so, so, well, not, 30 volts, six so not amps mains. or something like that. Yep. No. And it took almost one hour to reach the temperature to be able to print with uh, ABS. On wow. The okay. On top of cap. Wow. And it got the room really, really hot. Okay. Because that was the efficiency of the 90 degree heated bed, plus all the power that was being lost on the lab, linear lab power supply. That was half and half, I, 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 I'd read. And you, so you was like, and you hadn't considered your um, massive uh, greenhouse enclosure like you're in right now, back then. Oh no, no, no! It was open in uh, uh, last uh, floor of uh, kind of with this kind of roofs. In the in the summer was a nightmare. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Yes. So yes, yes, you could you could do that. You could do that. And the next one. And we are entering the crazy, the crazy ideas department. Crazy, uh, crazier ideas. Crazier. <laughs> yeah, because all, almost all of the ones that we have that we have talked about would be, I think, doable with minimal effort. Right. Okay. Like those have a pretty good chance to work. Okay. Okay. Are you, are you so, going to try? I, uh, I will ask. Are you going to try any of these? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Continue. No, because... No, you've, I already, will, you've I, already upset me. Go. Go on. Okay. <laughs> okay, what if we find uh, a an, an sports company container and we rig uh, a treadmill to, uh, by frictioning on the bed, heat it up? We could rig two treadmills to one to and if as long as you are running on one of the treadmills, the other one is uh, rubbing against the aluminium plate of the bed, and by friction, by sheer friction, heating it up. Absolutely. Have you have you ever fallen on a treadmill and put your hand on it and go? Bzzz! Oh my lord! No. Yes, yes yeah. there's heat. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can you can see you, you can search on YouTube for uh, treadmill. Uh, Falling compilation or something like that. Just look. <laughs> you just look. Adam Savage falling on treadmill. I haven't seen it, but ah, yeah, I can no, imagine. He, he did. He he went. He did. Oh yes. Yeah, he, he did. did. Yep. Okay, and then then you will just have to. Uh, you will become very fit because if you want to print, for example, a canoe to get out of the <laughs> island, because that's that's the goal. 
the goal is to design a boat in the computer and print it with the million tons of PLA that you already have. So the thing well, would be... But why would we leave this paradise? Just take a look around, then okay. go back. Like, okay. you, don't, you don't want to go away. There's okay. so, much, so much nice stuff in there. Mm. Yeah. Wait until we get to the container full of people to socialize. Yeah. <laughs> the container full of dead bodies. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It says life support container. Yeah. So you will, you will need to be like running at, at a steady, a steady pace. And uh, the thing is that your running pace would be the thermostat. Yes. So, so you will have a thermometer and you will look at the number and see 49, 48, start running faster. Because, and then, then you see 51, 52, and like slowing down and kind of like trying to PID your run. So your pace keeps the, the plate at a steady temperature. And then, then you need to find the right song with the beats per minute. So you know yes. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, Macarena. Macarena and <laughs> yeah, keep going. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine. What? Um, it, um, what you you were saying that um, so, <laughs> so, socializing, socializing, okay. getting getting social yeah. with the natives. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And now, what if what if uh, we we found we found nothing? There are no con no extra containers. And oh. what we started with is everything that we have. So were these well, containers shipping containers, just quietly? Yes. Okay. I, I just want to know where I'm sleeping. There's shipping containers yeah, I there, can sleep in. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sleep. Yeah. There is, There is. I didn't tell you, but there is a sleeping container full of beds, oh, mattresses. And, oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's a really nice place. But it, it sounds awesome. The printer doesn't have a heated bed. It's the only caveat. It's, it's, the rest is perfect. Yep. So. It's not that like that shitty island where Tom Hanks fell. Like, how could he? He, he should have chosen a much better island. He should have. With more stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What a loser. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Tom Hanks. I know that you're watching. You are saying nothing in the comments, but I know you're not. Yes. So uh, if we have nothing. Nothing left. There are no containers. We we landed there, and all that we have now is what we have. Uh, you could you could just start fire under the bed. That's hard to At control. At a certain distance, yeah, you should start like putting and removing logs from below and there. But we need red hot coals, is what we need. Yeah, that will that those would last a few hours, I think. Mm. Yes, yes. That would be kind of finicky, freaking. So you, you did mention earlier that the uh, bed was static. So the actual heat bed itself on this printer is I'm, static. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm choosing a non prusa style printer. So what is it, a Core XY? Uh, With the entire XY axis lifting, yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. A weird, a weird of a printer, yes. What? Okay, okay. Uh, another one, and going back to the the putting the bed on the sand, is using uh, solar heating. And you could use concentration heating. That would be a little bit, maybe a little bit too much. Uh, but you could put like a mirror that bounces the sand from below to the bottom of the bed, so you don't melt the, the print, because you you don't want to heat up the bed from the top. So you heat up also the PLA on the bed. So sure. you always yeah. want the heat coming from below. Uh, or uh, even using uh, water heating, like finding some solar thermal panels and running the hot water under the, under the bed. So if we've got solar panels, though? Yes. We'll just hook. Oh, we don't have an element. Not, not photovoltaic. No photo. No photovoltaic. Oh, okay, okay. Water, water heating solar panels. I don't oh, know how so, you turn uh, those. Thermal uh, solar panels. Is, is this sort of like just, just the black tubing 
back and yes. forth, back and yes. forth. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. I I know a guy that briefly had the world record of efficiency for those panels. Okay. So why what digress? Why why only briefly? He got beaten. He he got beaten. I think. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, ob obviously, but okay. Yeah. My question should have been: How long did he have the record for? Do you know? I don't. No, like, I don't was remember. It weeks, I, months. Uh, probably months. Okay, good. Probably. There we go. It it was non-official, uh, but it was measured. It was measured. Okay. So the the measuring agency was official. It wasn't a claim, world claim, world claim record, but yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, not not exactly, not exactly about the sixty degrees. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's yeah, it's 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 no good having the entire print because uh, to get the bed at sixty degrees. You always will need something that is hotter than Hot, sixty hotter degrees. Hotter than sixty degrees, yes. Yeah. It, did you see? I, I don't know if it was Veritasium or uh, Visos or one of the, those kind of channels that show how hot would it be? Uh, how hot could you heat up something if you concentrated the entire light of the moon into a point? Oh, I haven't seen that one. How hot do you think it would be? Not very hot. How much? Uh, one degree. The entire the entire light of the of the moon of the moon. Full moon. Full moon. One one uh, magnifier glass. Yeah, yeah, understand. Concentrated on one point. Uh, zero. No, no. It was it was not hotter than the surface of the moon. That is not very hot. Correct. That's because right. it's, it seems that energy, like a gas, always flows uh, from uh, the highest to the lowest. So if, if you have a point that is hotter than the moon, then the energy will flow from that point to the moon and not the other way around. Yeah, well, so if the surface of the moon is not very hot, it will not make anything very hot. Yeah, my, my logic was uh, the moon is reflected light. So the the yes. moon isn't the heat source. No, that's that's what made me think it was it would yeah. be zero. So, but okay. if you would use uh, photovoltaic panels to get all the light, not very concentrated amount of, amount of energy, then you could heat up something really really hot. Sure. The power the power that we get from the moon is still significant, but con concentrating it is not the it's not the way of getting it. Okay. It's not the way of getting. So moon moon magnif magnifier is not the way of heating the bed at night. Okay. So no printing at night. Mm, not with the moon. No, <laughs> not with the uh, moon. No. We could uh, another thing that we could do, could use to heat up our bed is use the the uh, geysers. Geyser, yeah, geyser. Geysers. Yep. The geysers that uh, naturally occur on the island that we have fallen on. Because we chose a nice island, not like unlike Tom Hanks, that yeah. chose shitty, shitty island. Yes. Yeah, there is there is also a volcano. Yes, that's Fernando. in the that's in the it seems, list. It seems, <laughs> it seems that being from the Canary Islands <laughs> kind of guides your thoughts. Uh, yeah. Uh, correct me, please, Fernando. But I think uh, I think it is in Lanzarote, one of the Canary Islands. There is a restaurant that cooks with the heat of the volcano. Tic -tac, tic -tac, uh, yeah. Jordan, uh, we, di we didn't choose to be stranded, but you yeah. know. Compost, I, I, I know that compost gets very hot, but I, if I remember correctly, when the compost gets too hot, uh, it stops working. I'm not sure because the things the things that live in it uh, die, something like that. That's why you cannot have very big piles of compost without cooling piping on it. 
like concrete. But yeah. Yeah. And uh, we could use thermal waters, like thermal, how do you call it? When the water is hot because it comes from the ground hot, like in Iceland. Uh, springs. Uh, springs, yes, uh, yes. Uh, hot, hot springs. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm messing up with your ability to say the words that are correctly for the terms that I'm thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> and the time. The time also is hurting you. No, no, it's okay. Uh, it's only 2 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, one of the one of the things when I was a student in one of the apartments that I that I was living, uh, one of my colleagues told me that you could use a tray full of alcohol to warm up a, a room. Right. And yeah, you have but did that, but that's very old school. That but that was something that I, that was done uh, in the past. If you have a metal tray and yeah. you put some alcohol in it yeah. and you light it up, you can use it as a, a heat source to to warm a room. To heat up a room because the the metal tray gets hot. No, because the alcohol it burns insanely hot. Ah, that, okay. And the the thing is uh, that it works, War, it works worryingly fast. Because we used uh, an oven tray with kind of like one finger of alcohol. Yep. And like in two minutes, we had to open the windows. Wow. Okay. Because we couldn't be inside. It's, okay. Too hot. It's insane. Because the, the, in the convection effect is insane because it's so hot, the air recirculates so fast that it's, it's like, yeah, don't don't do that. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. So we could put an alcohol tray under the bed. Yep, yep. Light it up. And yeah, no. Y Ewan is pointing out that there's um, a surprising amount of resources on this island. I'm I'm talking about yeah. He's talking about the shipping containers that that fell off the cargo ship that yeah. we also fell off. Yeah, the thing is, what it, it, you will not find all of them up to once. But if you have, you only need to have one of those, and you will have a heated bed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We are printing a boat. Yeah, yes, canoe. Yeah, yeah. I, th I yeah, think I haven't said it. We're doing a canoe. A, a canoe, a yacht. Depending if the if, ah, the if the bed is really good, a jet. We could be picking a jet. A yes. jet, yes. Yeah. Oh, let me. I will. Let, let me take a picture. I I need to show and, you. And and for keep everyone talking. At, everyone at home, that was yacht. Yeah. What did I say? Jet, which is what you say. A jet. Yeah. You, you call yeah, me yay yay tea. You know. <laughs> That's okay. We we're, we're just picking on you. Oh. Um, uh, Wellbot, you did make is Wellbot. No, he hasn't commented for a while. Zhup. Oh, yeah, he has. Um, uh, Wellbot asked why why I'm looking so good. Okay, show us. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, yep, yep. So that is. Are we looking at the warp? What are we looking at? We are looking at a, a canoe on top of a tank. Oh, with wow. a motorbike behind. Oh my God! Okay, yeah. it's a it's an insanely insanely deceiving image. Yes, correct. I could I couldn't see what that was. Yeah, oh, as you pull it away, I can see a bit more. Yeah. Because I'm going. So, yes. I'm sure that's the tank, but. Yeah, it's it's the tank. But it, 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 I was uh, stripping the floor of the of the shop. Yeah, right. And I did just put the canoe on top of the tank, and it was uh, in front of the of the of the best part. Ah. Okay. And it was <laughs> really, really nicely looking. So we could be printing a tank canoe motorbike, something like that. Yes. Best patan canoe. Yes. Something. Like that. Yeah, that's the torpedo kayak. Yes. It took me maybe a month to dry it up and clean it up from the sand. Wow. And Ro Robbie, I think now it's dry enough to be stored. Ro Robbie Mack also called it the tank canoe. A tank no. Tank, tank no. no. Tank a tank no. no. Tank no. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, hybrid. I think, but I don't know. If I drove with the tank tied to the kayak, I don't think the tank would have enough down pull to sink the kayak. If so you... I think I couldn't do it. Okay. Oh, as in uh, drag it behind? What, what do you mean? No, as it is, like strap the kayak to the tank ah. and drive straight to the beach and go to the 
I don't think the having having the, the tank below the kayak would make the, the kayak sink. The boy the buoyancy of the kayak, the out, kayak outweighs the, the uh, yes. weight uh, or, or outweighs no outweighs. It weighs, mate. Weighs. 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 But the tank. But the. How the, do you say those floaty things? Weighs. Boy. Yes, boy. Boy. Out boys. But the tank would be full of water. Oh, that. Oh, the man. water doesn't weigh. No, I understand. Water That's inside true. reduces the buoyancy. Yes. But if the tank weighs 100 kilos on the water, yeah. on, on air, being on the water will weigh 100 kilos. Yes. It's the. Displa not having. Not having uh, yeah. It's to do with the displacement of. Yeah. The, yeah, okay. Right, cool. If water doesn't get in, it will have more buoyancy yes. than minor 100 kilos. Yes. Yes, I understand. Really weird way of phrasing it. Okay. And yes, that was the, the last one. I, we are not going to make the ranking because we said lots of stupid things. Uh, but we could, we could try now to decide which one of them is the most dangerous. What do you think? Okay, what's the most dangerous method of Ivan's crazy uh, bed heating methods using diesel generator as the power supply uh, or any other solar or otherwise? Let's see. Straight fire. Yeah, and the cats, of course. Uh, nuclear, <laughs> nuclear bed. <laughs> Flamethrower. Well, we, we didn't talk about having uh, a container from uh, Euratom or any other nuclear agency where we could, we could find some radioactive material that is yes, naturally heating, like used, uh, uranium, used fuel like from a... Um, yeah, uranium, yeah, but one that has been used but it still is hot. Right, okay. You know that for the first few years, they need to get the uh, keep the fuel in pools full of water. Yes. Just so it doesn't like uh, uh, melt. Correct. And, and yeah. that's and why I don't think that anybody in its in its right mind will think that uh, having a nuclear reactor is a good idea in any way, shape, or form, because you need maintenance for years. So it doesn't kill everyone. So you're, uh, are, are you um, not pro nuclear? I'm anti, very anti. Oh, I did. I didn't want to put. I didn't want to label. Oh no, no, you. no! I'm, uh, I'm very anti. Very really? Anti okay. It's yeah. It's it's not cheap. Yeah. But I, I think it's not cheap because what we are making, we are taking a loan from the next 50,000 years of generations. We are saying we are using the electricity and you are going to pay for the storage and maintenance of for the shit that we are making today. Yep. And we are taking a loan that we are not going to pay. I see. That then actually, then it makes we sense. Are, we are assuming a risk that Chernobyl, Fukushima, Three Island, and many other incidents have made clear that it's, it's not safe. That okay. like, there are not enough measures that can make nuclear safe. And it has to be made, every single fuel pellet that we put into a reactor needs so many years of insanely careful management that the probability of something happening with those is insanely high to okay. be taken seriously. Okay. And there are alternatives. Now, solar and wind uh, are cheaper. Yes. And it has been proven that for the required reduction of CO2 emissions into the atmosphere, nuclear cannot be deployed quickly enough to meet up the required reductions and clean production of uh, electricity. That makes sense also. Did and you... nobody that promotes nuclear wants to live on a nuclear plant. Yes. Okay. So, 
like if someone that is pro nuclear wants tells me okay i want to live in fukushima yep especially when there is a, a hurricane season mm -hmm. then i will say okay you are pro nuclear but that's never the case yeah i wouldn't mind to have solar panels on my roof sure would you i'd love solar panels yeah so yes yeah I, I, I happen to live on the top story of an apartment block. I have we, one, we have I, I have one problem. I actually have two problems. To get solar panels, the five levels below me, I have to get permission from because it's common space. So the, yes. the roof is shared by everybody yeah. directly below. Yeah. And secondly, there is a 16-story building being built next door to me and the sun is about to be obscured. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and still, would be a better idea than trying to build your own nuclear reactor in the basement. Absolutely, I wouldn't do it in the basement, of course. So th yeah. this is uh, for everyone, everyone watching at home. That's what's next door to my place right now. Oh, so they're up to yeah, level four and, four and a half. A lot of contract construction. It's awesome. It's great to watch. Ewan, Ewan says we use nuclear to make solar panels and wind turbines. As long as the it is the nuclear that we already have, uh, I even I I will say that we should stop all the nuclear facilities with, that we have now, because they are really dangerous. Uh, but yeah, solar panels and wind turbines are already. Uh, Winning like in the UK, I think the last trimester was the entire trimester. The output from wind and solar was larger that than any other power source. Okay, that's good. And in Germany, they have a similar record. Yeah. So it's it's already happening. Um, uh, Apple are now 100% uh, carbon neutral. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know if they're buying because credits. Because they, they are assuming they are assuming that they can buy negative CO2. Okay, but so that's not how it works. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say because the CO2 that is already emitted, mm -hmm. and they are not getting it back. If they were to invest the insane amount of money they have uh, on making CO2 capture uh, devices, yep, and paying for the uh, infinite storage of that co2 then yes understand but, uh, understand that still is, is better than nothing sure i like it i like it better than doing nothing okay i'm just looking at the list the most dangerous so far that i've yeah. seen is um fernando shorting a lithium battery With, uh, yeah, you can shoot, yes, yes. Yes, that's basically using a lithium battery. Oh, is he talking about, yeah. Th this was yeah. the dangerous, because we said, what's the most dangerous? But the real question is, is dangerous to you or to the print, Robbie Mack said? To you. Okay. To the one trying to make it. Yep. What? And I, I'd say the microwave oven is more dangerous than the lithium ion battery. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I'd rather I'd I'd rather uh, be the one that has to short a lithium ion battery than the one that has to make a microwave oven run with the door open. Yep. The with the lithium ion battery you see where the danger is coming from. With the, an open microwave yeah, you yeah. cannot see it until it is too late. Yes. When when you yeah. when you when your bits are all fried. Yeah. The inside ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, the rest, the 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 rest is all. Uh, we sh we should make an, an, ep an episode that is we solve the the climate change issue. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Not clickbait. You have no. to put not. When when you solve it, you let me know. Okay, I will. Good, good. Maybe tomorrow. I may have some spare time. You've never got Well, spare I time. think we should. No. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Uh, so, 
I think we are done. I think so. As everybody, always, everybody, thanks for watching. Everybody oh. happy? Yay! Right, we're going to go. Oh, oh, back to uh, Wellbot's question earlier. He said, I look wonderful. The reason I look wonderful is I've got these giant spotlights. I have two of those. And I, I'm, and I have a shitty... I can do oh, this. wow. That, that, the green screen works really well. Anyway. Or the, the chroma keying does, anyway. Uh, Jordan is not unhappy. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, Ivan, you're making my eyes melt. Talk about blue light. Uh, no, I think it's just lit better. Uh, more so than yes. new camera. See, I'm like in a in a ship. You're in Spaceship. deep. You're in deep ship. Is what you're in. Deep ship. Deep ship. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't. I don't know the answer to why it is crystal clear. I'm suspecting lighting I has think, something I to do with it. I think I'm zoomed because I'm seeing you, both you, original images. You, you are zoomed because you wouldn't sit still, and you said you'd fix your but I can, I can do this. Well, then do Don't this. Don't me. Here, 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 here. We'll get it right for next week. So let me put this. Yeah, let yeah. me do this. We are going to do now what we don't want to be Boop. doing next week. Yep. There, there. So this is about where you would be normally, roughly. So you need to... See, I've got to, I've got to make it bigger than that. Whoop. Oh, just a little bit more. Where's Brian Vines when you need him to make some funniness? There you go. Oh, yes. There, there you go. That's about as good as you're going to get without too much zoomage. Okay. Let me see. I get... Let me... Give me a second. Oh, important things. Um, Extreme Ivan, yes. Uh, webcam sensors suck, yes. Uh, don't shave either. Yep. Actually, I've got to shave. I've got to... I've got a meeting on Wednesday, so even though it's it's only Meetings. just Tuesday, oh, yeah. you know, you really do know how to have fun. Oh, absolutely. Whew. I'm crispier now. You, you, you're certainly um, more tanned. Can then, does anyone think that Ivan's looking pixely? I know we've gone well over. Yellow, yes, for sure. Ooh, scary now. He's got the Ooh, Halloween ghost story. Halloween, Halloween. Ooh. I'm Batman. You're crazy. We are done. Yeah, we're done? This makes no sense. All right. Thank you, one and all. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.